Well, when you log into your course and you come in, your course should look something like this. It's going to open with Course Home, and it'll have Higher Ed 617 Statistical Procedures for Education and Research. Now, you can scroll down that if you'd like to, to look at the issues of programmatic, uh, the course learning outcomes, uh, the description, and I want you to keep in mind that we kind of have a symbiotic relationship. You may want to watch that. Now, in the course, we'll have under Course Home your syllabus, your digital ecosystem, technical support, library, student lounge, virtual office, and a little thing about working in groups. The course is designed in 10 modules. These modules range from terms and concepts all the way down to the chi-squared distribution. Now, you will notice in each of these modules that there's a date. This is the date that it opens. And this is the date that it closes. And you need to get your, you not need to, you'll have to get your materials into me by the closing dates for those modules. Now, across the top, you have course administration, grade book, email. These are the things that are in mine. Yours will differ a little, but you'll have a document sharing in a Dropbox and a journal. It is in the journal that you post your reflections as you're asked to for a portion of your grade. Let me go to syllabus now and see if we can get the syllabus to open up so we can discuss it. The syllabus looks like this. There's information about me. Uh, here's my cell phone number. Please don't call me after 10 o'clock. Old people go to bed early. Uh, I have a little bit about myself, songs I like. Uh, oh, I just love, uh, hello, Mrs. Johnson, you self-righteous woman, and don't tell me good night, Sean Sharon and I like. Your textbook will be uh, Understandable Statistics by Brace and Brace. I don't require that you buy the textbook. You can share it and do some things with others. Programmatic learning outcomes, course learning outcomes, the grades. You'll need to read through that. Uh, all of the things about class participation. Now, uh, the 10 modules are here, and they're described. And uh, I want you to keep in mind that this is a doctoral research tool. This is not your standard elementary ed course, like you're in fourth or fifth grade. This is a doctoral research tool, and I expect you to take charge of your own learning and, and really put forth your best effort. Now, if we go into some of these courses, like terms and concepts, you will notice that it opens up into different lectures. Uh, you'll have some things on the front about what you have to do in the course. If we open up the one on by clicking on About Statistics, You'll notice that it has discussions, Waller's Ladder. A lot of the internet links will look like this. They'll be in red, okay? One of the other things that you want to be aware of is that you do have a content mastery. So when you click on it, this is going to be your test. You have one shot at the test, and you're allowed several hours in, getting, uh, in, in completing the test. And you'll come up here, and it'll load up and give you a chance to take it and all sorts of things like that. I just want you to be aware of what the course looks like so that you can put forth your best effort. Give it your best shot. I want each and every one of you to make an A in this course, and I thought this little discussion might help you to understand a little bit more about what we're doing. If you go up to virtual office and you go in the virtual office, that's how you might interface with me. Uh, the virtual office will load up. It's the dog pound is what I call it. And you can post a question, and I can respond to that question if you see fit to, to leave me something. Well, I just wanted you to see what the course looked like and wish you the best. Have a good day.